Hey guys, we are the YouTube team from Rainbow Six and today we're gonna show you some strats in Urban which you can use with your friends in rank for example or just to train with your with your own team. So we're gonna go over a turtle strategy for basement defense. Uh, we're gonna actually hold only the basement and we're gonna go through some reinforcements. We're gonna go through some positioning and why you're having those specific operators to hold those specific places. It's basically just a very simple strat and it's gonna be a good one. So my role here is smoke. I'm on the last anchoring defenders. I've done my reinforcements and now I'm just gonna sit up and get ready. Wherever the push comes from with the main force is, is where I'll be rotating. I'll be using my smokes accordingly, either to stall out the round or to stall out the round long enough for us to utilize all our utilities and win the round. If they come from backside, I'll go backside. If they come main stairs, I'll play close with a shotgun, accordingly with Fabian most likely the mute. So in this strategy, I'm playing the character mute. My job is basically to deny the information from the opponents, which means that if they try to use drones to come downstairs, for example, a Twitch drone, they should be unable to. So when, when I've done my reinforcements, all I do is open up the big wall into classroom so that they cannot place a thermite charge on the wall. I put my mute devices down, one on the, on the middle, like bench in the middle of laundry to deny the hatch breach. One on top of the laundry machine, so that they cannot drown down the stairs. One in the back stairs, so they cannot drown out Uno, who's going to play in the back stairs. And then one for the wall into the blue room. After that, I don't really have a purpose anymore in the round, which means I'm just going to play aggressive around the stairs with my shotgun, because playing the shotgun close range, you will basically one-shot everyone. So I'm going to play Ella, I'm going to play it under the stairs on tower and I'm going to put traps and park fire on tower stairs and hold the backside while my teammates are focusing on long defense. Basically I'm bringing forcing blue and putting everything around the back stair for me and I have ADS and mute, mute chamber to protect me. So in, in this strat I'm playing Jaeger and I start the round by doing reinforcement. I, I, I do my first reinforcement uh, at the hallway towards tower and the other one in the small laundry box. Um, I place my barbed wire, I place one barbed wire in red coming from blue and then one barbed wire at the main stairs and then all my ADS I put two at the bottom of main stairs so the mute can play aggressive there without getting naded, flashbang, yin candela or whatever and then I give the Ella at the bottom of tower stairs one so he, she doesn't get naded either and I play around B and I'll try to help mainly Ella to hold blue and if the, if the enemies are coming from uh, lobby side I can just go there and help the mute as well. Okay, so basically in this turtle hole, as Kaid, uh, you should always check if there's a mute device, which is here. In case they take the mute device, it means that they're gonna go for a lobby take. So in that place, we're gonna destroy the mute and we're gonna place a gate charge to make sure they don't get the, the hatching lobby, like this. And the other kite charge, you can place it in the corner hatch to make sure they don't go for a backside. In case they go for a backside, you're gonna take the kite charge from here and you're gonna put it in the other medium hatch right here to make sure they don't get any hatches from the backside. And that's pretty much what you have to do as Kate. So the basic idea behind the strategy is obviously to turtle down on the basement. Everyone needs to be close to each other and we're playing really heavy close range operators. If you look at the lineup, we're gonna have an Ella who has one of the highest fire rate guns on the backside with one of the larger magazines. You're gonna have two shotguns close to the main stairs. You're gonna have Kaid who has the slug shotgun who is also really strong. And then the Jaeger is basically just to protect them to play their own positions. But then again, everyone knows that Jaeger has the best rifle in the defending side. So this is our Oregon basement defense where you can turtle pretty easily with uh, the setup we just showed you. Uh, you should ban either Maverick or Thatcher now that operator bans are in ranked. And you can adapt this strat to the operators you usually play with, but the operators we just showed you now are the main, like the most important you can use for this hold. I hope you guys learned a lot with this video and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, you guys can come back and watch our videos whenever you want to learn more strategies and we are hopefully going to show you some more in the future. Uh, visit our shop at g2esports.com slash shop if you want to shop some merch from us. We would highly appreciate that and I hope you see, I'll see you in the next video.